Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges is calling on Minnesotans to come together, understand, and connect with one another. This as she reflected on the first few months of Donald Trump's presidency during a special address. Mary McGuire is live in Minneapolis with some of the big takeaways of the speech. And Mary, this was more about attacking President Trump than anything. Yes, our current president was definitely the focus of this speech. Speaking to a crowd of about 90 people at a synagogue in South Minneapolis, Mayor Betsy Hodges called out the president by name at least a half a dozen times. Now, this was all a part of a special mayoral address dubbed One Minneapolis in the Time of Trump. And in that speech, Mayor Hodges blasted the current president, claiming various communities are under attack, like immigrants, people with disabilities, and women. Mayor Hodges called on folks in the city to protect what she calls important voices of democracy like voters, journalists, demonstrators, and artists. She calls Trump's agenda one of suppression. What we are seeing now is indeed uniquely pernicious. What most distinguishes this president from the 44 who preceded him, including other conservative presidents, is his agenda of suppression. It is an agenda designed to centralize power in the White House by manipulating some of the levers of the federal government and disrupting others to create the confusion and chaos that would undermine our democracy and, therefore, and thereby justify limiting our freedom. Now, Hodges faces multiple opponents in her fight for re-election in November, and they seem less than convinced that this strategy will work. The former head of the Hennepin Theater Trust, Tom Hoke, will challenge Hodges in November, and he told the Star Tribune that, quote, railing against an unpopular president was not a viable strategy to move our city forward in December, and it still isn't in April. Now, Mayor Hodges did address some policies in that speech as well. She did ask for an additional $15,000 to help immigrants in the city of Minneapolis. Of course, she has been a vocal supporter of the ordinance here that uh, bans police from enforcing immigration laws in the city of Minneapolis. And you got to think that getting reelected is front and center in her mind anyway. Do you think calling out Trump like this is part of her reelection strategy? Well, I think it definitely is. I've been at many city council meetings where she has railed against Trump as well, but that was a part of her leadership as mayor, and now she appears to be using that same strategy as a re-election tactic as well. Okay, Mary, thank you.